Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description. Good morning, folks. We're here in New Liskert, Ontario. Exactly where we went to bed last night. The exact spot. It's always a good sign. It's going to be a good day if you wake up exactly where you parked. So I'm done with my pre-trip. I'm just sitting here being lazy. It's time to get back to work. We got to get on the road. We got a long way to go. We got 3,004 kilometers to go to our destination. That is, da, 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 let's just round it off to 3,000. Oh, that's uh, 2,000 miles, right? Nope. 1,863 miles to go to our destination. It is now Friday. No, Saturday. No, Friday. It's Friday. When I'm filming this Friday, Saturday, we got three days to get there. Got to deliver this Monday morning. And then we have a new load that we're picking up in Edmonton, Alberta, where we're going. And that's taking us to Appleton, Wisconsin, which is uh, another. Let's, let's, let's check this out. Appleton, Wisconsin, which is, I think it's by uh, Green Bay. Yeah, it's just south of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And from Edmonton, it is... It's thinking. 2,433 kilometers, but I'm gonna be passing by through home. So about 2,500 kilometers plus the 3,000 we have now. We have 5,500 kilometers assigned to us that we need to get done in the next week. So that's a good week. That is a really good week. Let's say 5,500 kilometers divided by 1.61. That is 3,416 miles in a week. Bring it on. We still got these cement drums on us, on the trailer behind us. Taking three of them out there to Alberta. So they make them here in Ontario and they make them and they send them to Alberta. That's sort of the story of Canada though. I was taught this in school, but now that I'm a truck driver, I can actually see it play out. Uh, Eastern Canada is all about, mostly about manufacturing. They take the raw products that are in the West and they bring them east to manufacture them and then they send the finished product back west. And the west is about the raw materials. They mine the raw materials, send it out east, and then it gets sent back west. So back and forth and back and forth, you know? That's where I come in. That's my job. So I don't know where the steel for this, these cement drums came from, but I wouldn't be surprised if they came from somewhere out west. I'll try to get on here. Excuse me, Trucker Josh wants to start his day. Everybody get out of his way. You know the law. Steer clear when Trucker Josh is near. Not that I'm a danger on the road, I just need to get somewhere. I, I have somewhere to be. Kilometers on 11. Oh, this is a turning lane I'm in. Well, silly me, let's get in the actual lane. There we go. Looks like it's gonna be a rainy day today. It's okay with me. I work indoors. Well, this is rather unpleasant. I thought we were done with this stuff. Apparently up here in Northern Ontario, they're still in winter time. Spring has not sprung here yet. Uh, so I don't know how long this snow is gonna last for, but it's been getting worse and worse. We're about half an hour from Kappa's casing. We've got a long way to go today yet. We've got to get about another 800 kilometers or 500 miles behind me. I want to stop in campus casing for a shower. But I don't know if I need to keep pushing through. If this is going to get worse, I want to get through it and out of it. We're going to stop for fuel anyway, and when we're there, I'll check the forecast and see what it says. I should have timed it at least stop for a shower. I mean, if I if I can't stop today, I'll have to stop tomorrow. But either way, I like to stop for a shower every day. The only time I, that I don't is if I'm in a 
extraordinary hurry or if there's just no facilities. So we'll see what this weather is going to throw at us and if we need to rush to get through it or not. Maybe it'll start getting better soon. <laughs> just looking up ahead here, we got maybe a mile visibility. Yikes. Not good. So we just fueled up here in Kappa's casing and it's gotten worse. It's turned out to be an all out blizzard here. So we're gonna go a little ways down the road. But first I have to check online. Apparently, there's rumors going around in the truck stop here that apparently the road might be closed up ahead. So I'm gonna go and check that out now. What's rattling over there? What's that noise? No rattling in my truck. How dare you? What's that noise? Where's it coming from? I don't know where it's coming from. Well, according to the internet, we can probably get up to Hearst, but the highway might be closed there. Hearst is about another 60 miles or so, 70 miles up the road. I'm gonna at least try to get there. Apparently there's a jackknifed semi on the other side of Hearst. Of course there is. As soon as you get a few snowflakes, you get a, these drivers out here who've never seen snow before. Just got here and whoop, jackknifed across the road. Oh, this is not what I was planning. Not what I was planning at all. So the plan is to get to Hearst and take it from there. We'll check the, the internet there, see if the highway's open, but it looks to me like we'll probably be spending the night there, which isn't good because I have an appointment with a crane Monday morning to get these cement drums off my truck. It'll be kind of hard to uh, reschedule that over the weekend. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Let's just hope and pray it'll all be okay. I can't believe it's still snowing. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset. Winter was over. This isn't supposed to snow anymore. Here we are in Hearst. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Diesel. It's unbelievable, man, just like you said. Except I can believe it, because I can see it, man. It's right there. Good point, Diesel. I guess it is believable. I mean, you can't deny it. But that sucks. Indeed it does, man. Well, from what I've heard, the highways are open, so we're going to keep trucking. I'm just going to double check it one more time. 511 Ontario. Hey! 
511 Ontario. Road conditions, closures, and incidents. <laughs> All right. It looks like it's supposed to get better really soon going that way. Well, for another little while, up to about Pagua. Partly snow covered, partly ice covered. Visibility good, no drifting snow. Uh, does look like it's all right. And by the time we get uh, past Long Lac, before we get to Nipigon, everything's gonna be cleared up and down there, the road is bare and wet. And then it turns into bare and dry at Nipigon. So all we gotta do is just get through this. Good times are ahead. We can do it. It seems bad right now, but it's supposed to get better. Sorry, Diesel didn't mean to elbow your butt there. Sorry, man. I apologize. Such a good boy. You are such a good boy. The best boy, I might, I might say. Don't tell Chevy or Frank, okay? Shh, it's our secret. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do this, but... Oh, shoot. Maybe I should clear off those wipers. They're all full of ice. Ah. All right. Both had a bathroom break. It's time. Time to power through this, as they say. I think that's what they say. It's time to get through this anyways. We can do it. Oh, boy. If we don't fall into one of these potholes first. You don't hear from me again. I got lost in a pothole. I'm gonna need some help getting out. Hey, yikes, potholes. Insane. Okay, so we're keeping the window as cold as possible, the windshield, so that the snow just bounces off instead of getting stuck to the wipers and stuck to the windshield. And I'm about to go through the most secluded section of highway as well so let's hope everything is good here according to all the information i have the highway is still open and it is supposed to get better an hour or two up the road and i got places to be so we're gonna push on through slow and steady Nipagon here now and the snow has stopped. The roads are dry. Just going over this one big bridge here now where they got these really bright blue LED lights on that uh, like that, that blind you at night. Especially when your eyes are so tired. The camera doesn't do it justice really, but those are really bright. bridge that's for sure especially when you have to build it twice right <laughs> uh. and thank god we made it we stopped in nipigon i wanted to go a little bit further but that snowstorm s slowed me down quite a bit and i was getting pretty tired so the next stop would be uh at the flying j just before thunder bay or that petro pass on the other side of thunder bay at the corner of the 102 and 1117 there i decided to stop here at the petro pass just got myself going today for the next day did my pre-trip and we're ready to start rolling so i gotta say goodbye to you guys thanks for watching tomorrow looks like it's gonna be a much nicer day look at this sunshine and rainbows well maybe not rainbows no rainbows but it will be sunshine we'll see you then don't forget to subscribe tune in tomorrow